I've been playing over lockdown, but I haven't been playing like really energetic and kind of like a full life kit. So my hands are just like trying to catch up. It's the same wound that opened uh, with the blood when it went everywhere. And it usually takes a while for the, kind of the skin to get a bit harder and um, the bones to like just kind of get used to it. Usually I super glue my hands. We super glue the hands if uh, you kind of have a, like a cut. But you know what? Got to get back to the game. How you guys doing? You okay? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. What are you guys doing tonight? We're playing a show. Do you guys want to come? Yeah. Cool. Definitely. Perfecto. Also, I need that Sam, I need the classic sandwich as well. Classic sandwich. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people around here, like, I bump into all the time. They're coming to the show tonight, so it should be cool. It's going to be a nice little community of people around London, they're just gonna be like, woo, one place. And that hasn't happened for a while, so it's gonna be special. We've got a lot of people coming tonight, so. The stress of the guest list right now is beyond me. I know I get to the, the venue and it's gonna be a little bit more hectic and it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So I'm trying to get everything done. How'd you pull this window down? Hey! It's gonna be sick. Let's go. When I was younger, you get signed to this major label, right? You expect people to do more of the work for you, but reality that it really has to come from the artist. If you have a vision, make it happen yourself. Don't tell someone else to do it or don't leave it with someone else because they don't have the same passion for your music as you should, and you do. So we've added a couple of things for this show. We've added a couple more of these side lights. In the back, we've got some lasers, obviously. I'm really excited for this show. Like, look at that. It's beautiful. Oh. And it's gonna be bouncing with fans, enjoying themselves. It's gonna be sick. I MD the tours since the beginning. You know, at the beginning, we didn't have money to spend on an MD or to, for someone to do it for us. And I've always been really, interested in that aspect of the live show, so it's always been important for me to express myself in that way. We've never had any kind of outside influence kind of doing our show, which I think, you know, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Excuse me, so I have an appointment here. Oh, you do? I know you're fully booked, but I was just wondering I, if I, you have I, a space. It's not, it's not a very busy set on. <laughs> you ready? Oh. You ready? Well, how are you going to do it? I'm just going to slap it on. No, are you going to individually do the hair, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, just in case you needed any hot water to go with this, I've got you. Oh, have and a I'm steamer. And I'm in after for electric blue. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. Can we that. actually do that? Yeah, that's actually my signature. So oh, that's that's that scalp is getting, yeah. yeah. It's a deep blue. It's got a deep blue. It's got a deep blue. Wait, don't put it in the scalp, because the scalp dies. definitely blue, isn't it? Definitely blue. I look like a freak. I decided to colour my hair because it went a bit faint. And honestly, like, I just prefer Con doing it because he's the man. He's always done it. I'm in a job where it requires me to look good every day, you know, when we're on tour. So the, the stress on that person, especially when you're a kid, when you're a teenager, is like, you know, not good. Oh, I'm f <laughs> I used to be a lot worse looking at uh, and worrying about what pictures are out of me and if I look good or if I look bad. And... But I think there's so many pictures out there that I'm unhappy oh, with. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's got to a point where there's no return. I've given up and I don't mind. I'm comfortable with who I am. As long as you're happy with yourself and, and try and realize your self-worth, then I think you're, you're gonna find it much easier. That's sick. Nice. That's actually sick. Yeah. Let's go. Oh my boy. Is it alright on the sides? Yeah, that's exactly how it was before when I did it. Yeah. Nice. Sick, there you go. So if you ever need your hair done, you know where to go. I was a little bit of an outcast in school and I was really not doing well. But I was not doing it well in a cool way. I mean, I wasn't passing the grades. I was getting into trouble. 
and it didn't really seem like there was any future for me. I thought like it wouldn't, would end pretty quick. But if you keep up with something that you like or if you're good at, you can definitely turn it into a career or turn it into something. You don't have to have a textbook lifestyle, you don't have to follow the rules, and you can really create your own life. We call him Zeus because in our eyes he's a Greek god. But to you, to you Hammersmith, you will know him as Mr. Tristan Evans. Music is what makes us happy, it's our therapy. And there's something special about when you buy the music, there's just this energy that blows your mind. I can see exactly where we are right now as the Vamps and nowhere near close to achieving all of our goals. I don't think there will ever be a moment where all of our goals can be achieved because you always make new ones, I think. Uh, always evolve and try and better yourself. At the end of the day, that's what makes the Vamps clip. We're just four best friends and we are really there for each other. And we play music, you know, on the side. Yeah. Okay, bye. So for me, like mental health has been something that's been really weird and, and interesting. I obsess over like having a control over, over things, you know. With mental health, you don't complete it. It's a constant journey. Meeting Kirsty was a big thing because, you know, Kirsty kind of was the first person to be like, look, like we need to probably sort this out.